It's my birthday, and I ate, and I'm gonna eat the cake, 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 cake. Wanna put your name on it? Ooh, baby, you like it? Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> oh, wow! I just ate cake, so my tongue might look a bit off ish. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another video. If it is your first time here, my name is Naledi Soratle and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back by to another video. As you can see, I'm so excited for this video because um, your girl just turned 21. Please do wish me happy birthday in the comment section below. But if you're already but if you already did in on my social media platforms thank you so much for all the messages and yeah i am really really grateful so this video as you can tell by the title it's gonna be 21 things that i learned at the age of 21 so 21 things that i learned at 21 um i've seen a lot of people do these kind of things like 20 things that i learned at 20 30 things i learned at 30 and i thought you know what this would be perfect for 21 now 21 things is a lot <laughs> I think about it so I'm like wow so I'm gonna keep it really short I'm not gonna talk too much otherwise we're gonna be sitting here until tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna keep it really short and a bit of detail so it's not too vague do you get what I'm saying because 21 things is a lot so I made my notes over here so I don't forget as you can see it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot so yeah let's get started um, before we do get started though please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel um, we're on the I'm so sorry. We are on the way to to 500. <laughs> we are on the way to 500 subscribers, so please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel for more content cuz I'm coming through with some more. Okay. Okay, so first things first. So this is this is going to be part of Naledi Talks. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in my playlist for the lady talks as you guys know I started that about a month ago so yeah I'm gonna add that to the lady talks and I hope you guys enjoy it okay number one love yourself first and others will follow um, you guys know I'm always <laughs> you guys are probably tired of hearing it those who have been on my channel for a very long time I'm always talking about um, Sorry, somebody sent me a weird message. I'm always talking about like self-love and everything because I feel like if you don't love yourself first, nobody will. Think about it like a child. When you're raising a child, right, and you teach them specific things, but then you show them the opposite. Like you teach them to clean, to respect their elders, to use specific languages or not not vulgar language and whatever but then you do it obviously they're gonna pick up from what you're doing do you get what i'm saying so if you don't respect yourself nobody will it's the same thing like a child so i feel like that's where it comes in like you need to love yourself first otherwise other people will not res love and respect yourself first and other people will follow trust me trust me when you talk negatively about yourself people will follow into it and they'll even make it worse but if you speak positively about yourself then people will catch on to it so yeah that's number one number two failure does not determine your fate and honestly that is so true failure does not determine your fate guys like um sometimes when you when we fail and we feel like it's the end you know um i failed a couple of times especially in varsity like in high school and primary school i was an a student you know but varsity showed me flames <laughs> Woo. 
Ooh, it showed me a lot of flames, but I'm glad it did because then it showed me that honestly, it's not the end of the world. And also when you fail somehow, it makes you stronger and you appreciate your achievements way more than if you just passed everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like if you do something once and you get it right and perfect at the same time, you won't appreciate it. But when you fail, you actually appreciate your achievements and you're like, I actually passed. And you just appreciate it. You just appreciate stuff better. So that's number two. Number three, don't always take things personally. Um, I think this is something I'm also still learning, to be honest. Like some things are not always going to be personal. Some, some people say things, especially like, friends when they're being honest with us or family or friends about specific things and then we usually take it personally and we're like oh this is an attack because the thing is when you're how do i explain it so you yourself you're not going to see your mistakes because it's you and the things that you do wrong you're not going to see it because it's you you are like in the center and other people are outside so when someone tells you something i feel like you shouldn't take it personal because you can't see when you're wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we are very, um, like, prejudiced or whatever. I don't know if that's the right word. Like, to our own judgment, we're very prejudiced because you can't tell or you, you protect yourself. And like, no, I'm always right and whatever. And so someone else will see the things that you do wrong. So sometimes don't take it personal. It's just for growth. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's number three. It sounds very vague, but I can't go too much into detail because this video is going to be too long. And then number, what is it? Number four. You can't do life alone. And this one is my most important one. You cannot do life alone, guys. You need people. You need a support system. And why I'm saying it's my personal favorite is because um, I've always been a person like who thought I just need myself. Like, all I need is literally me and I I um, I avoid relying on people because I've been disappointed a lot of times in my life. And so I feel like if I can do something myself, I'll get it right and I'll do it better than asking someone else and then they disappoint me. Or, you know, just asking someone to do something for you and then they just don't pitch. And you just feel so disappointed, you know? And so I started learning to do things by myself from a very young age like if I want to get something done I do it myself if I want to struggle through something I struggle through myself even homework and stuff like that when I was so little I would like want to do it by myself to figure it out by myself and not ask for help um and even sometimes at this age like I I hate asking for help I'm not gonna lie I don't know if it's pride or what but I just I hate asking for help and money Oh, I hate asking for money. If you ever see me asking for money, you must know I'm very desperate. But, yeah, no, but you'll never find me. <laughs> I hate asking for money. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that you need people in your life. You need a support system. Um, we are not meant to live in isolation. As people, yes, solitude is a good thing. But isolation is not. So, you can't do life alone, guys. That's all I'm literally going to say. Um, yeah. That is number four. I don't want to go too much into detail into everything because I feel like 21 things is so many. But um, number five is heartbreaks and disappointments actually make you stronger. Hey, <laughs> contradictory. Uh, believe it or not, heartbreaks and disappointments actually make you stronger. Heartbreaks when we're going through them, it usually feels like a roller coaster. It usually feels like, oh my gosh, what did I do to de to deserve this? But then somehow it just was like, wow. After a year, let's say, of going through a specific heartbreak, you just feel like I did it. Like I actually did it, and I'm still standing and I'm still breathing. Because usually after like a heartbreak, and I'm talking about the romantic ones, and um, this bunch of heartbreaks in life but specifically the romantic ones um after it you just feel like wow it's the end and then after a couple of months you're like i'm actually breathing no what it sounds crazy but it's true like you're not gonna die you're fine and that just shows you like that time heals all wounds and also 
it may, somehow it just makes you emotionally stronger because i feel like after personally let me speak for myself after my first heartbreak literally when i get disappointed or when i'm with someone and they break up with me or things ain't or things just don't work out i don't even get touched anymore like obviously okay like that's sad it happened but it's not the thing of like i get into deep mode do you understand what i'm saying like I move on and I'm like, okay, it didn't work out and that's okay. That means it was not meant to work out. And that's emotional strength that I've never had. And if I would never have if the heartbreak did not happen. So that's what I'm saying. It actually makes you stronger, believe it or not. I sound like I am talking C R A P, but it's true guys. It really is true. So yeah. Okay, then the next one. Your intuition will never lie to you guys i always say this your intuition will never and i mean like n-e-v-e-r will never lie to you like sometimes that little voice over here and we tend to ignore it a lot of the times i tend i used to ignore it a lot of the times because i felt like it's um paranoia instead of intuition but the more you go like you just realize wow like it will actually never lie to you and so I, I learn more to listen to my voice and when something actually happens and I'm like yes yes I knew it I knew it so yeah your intuition will literally never lie to you it's not paranoia honey it's intuition but also paranoia sometimes can get in the way of things but the little voice inside of you it will never lie to you the next one not everyone has great intentions though and this follows the one that i just said um your intuition never lied to you but also not everyone will have great intentions um some people come to feed off your energy and all they do is just take and take and take until they're done and then they leave and they leave that came from a very <clears throat> that came from a very deep dark place but it's the truth guys not everyone has great intentions and i think the minute someone shows you their true colors don't try and manipulate the truth don't try and convince yourself that no you know what maybe it's not them maybe they're just having a bad day maybe like the true colors believe it because a lot of the times we like we have we like false hope we like false hope we think that you know what if i give someone a second chance a third chance maybe they'll show me better of them and we we, we want to believe what we want to see and not what is actually there that's why i'm saying we like false hope so sometimes when someone really shows you the true colors guys just the ones once when they show you the true colors believe it don't even second guess and be like no maybe they're just having a bad day and trying to make excuses for them or maybe they're just going through this hey nina nina yella no not everyone has great intentions so just yeah um other ones i feel like they're all mixed up i didn't put them in order but um the next one is plan ahead but also go with the flow and it's going to be a bit contradictory to something else that I might mention later. I'm not sure if I wrote it down. But plan ahead, but also go with the flow. Should I say that again? Plan ahead, but also go with the flow. Like, I love being spontaneous, but also I hate that my time management is horrible. I'm that person of, no, I'll do it later. I'll do it when I feel like it. I do. Like, I'm very spontaneous, but also my planning is horrible sometimes so plan trust me if you don't plan and i'm talking about everything whether it's academics your future your life your anything plan because if you fail to pre to prepare you prepare to fail you know it's something that i've heard a lot of times in my life and every time i was just like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but it's true like plan ahead and <laughs> procrastination is not your friend and i think i said this in another note in another bullet point but plan ahead but also go with the flow the reason why i'm saying but also go with the flow don't be so stuck up on like bullet goals you know like today i'm gonna do this and then you forget to just live life as well 
you know so go with the flow as well but also don't just flow to the wind and be like wherever the wind blows i'll land plan but also just learn to take life as it comes and that's something that i'm still trying to you know but yeah and the next one is always follow your passion you will never go wrong i feel like that just says it i don't it's self-explanatory i don't need to elaborate like it's literally you just follow your passion you will never go wrong because the thing is i don't know if it's only me but i get bored really quickly if i'm doing something i'll get bored really quickly if i'm doing it over and over again but if it's something that i like if it's something that I like, I'm speaking so quick. <laughs> if it's something that I like, trust me, I will never get bored. So when you plan your future or when you do something or when you follow a career path, make sure that it's something that you love. Because chances are you're going to be doing it over and over again for a long time, like the rest of your life. And then one day you're going to wake up and be like, actually, no, I'm bored. I mean, change is good, but also... You don't want to be changing career paths every year or every second year or every third or every five years. Like, think of something that you're passionate about because you'll never go wrong. You will never go wrong. And with passion, let me tell you, like, some days you're going to wake up and you're going to be tired. You're going to be demotivated. Not all the days are the same. And that's why discipline is important and passion. If you're not passionate about it, you're not going to be there. You're not going to do it. You're not going to like it. You know, you, you're just not going to... Sh Thanks. You guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so the other one, oh, there's still so many, that's why I'm speaking so quickly. But um number oh the next one, my favorite actually, is don't take high school. Did you hear what I said? Don't take high school. This is from my high school subbies. I don't know how many I have. If you're a high school person watching this video, please say hi, leave a leave an emoji, do something, be like I'm in high school, whatever. In the comment section below but don't take high school achievements too seriously because guess what they don't matter in varsity and that's something i had to learn like when i got to varsity i was like wait so all my trophies don't matter all those certificates they they don't matter like it really doesn't the only thing that matters is your mat okay obviously your matric certificate to get you into specific um degrees and whatnot so obviously like your higher degrees like the more competitive ones like medicine actuary sciences um engineering obviously <clears throat> your marks have to be good that's for sure to make it because it's very competitive and obviously they're not going to take someone who has a 45 percent average over someone who is 98 sounds impossible but there are people out there getting I'm a 90 for averages but they're not gonna you do you get what I'm saying it's a very competitive world so obviously you need to still keep that in mind but also don't take it too seriously like top tens and top fives and because nobody's gonna ask you on the first day of varsity Horwena what what position were you in were you top one or top two were you in the top five how many scrolls did you get you know those little scrolls and badges how many years were you the ducks learner no no one and i took it so seriously in high school i don't regret it though it's, it was my achievements but i took life so seriously in high school instead of in, in um in terms of achievements and stuff like that to the point where it literally got in my head like when you get to varsity guys nobody cares no lecturer is gonna ask you were you ducks learner for mathematics were you no one all that matters is your matric certificate obviously on your aps score and then immediately when you get in and you get accepted into varsity, now it's your marks from varsity that's going to count. Your matric certificate, nobody cares. You just need it for maybe when you're applying for things and jobs, just to prove that you actually have matric. But after that, I, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how many distinctions you got. Nobody cares how many scrolls you had. Nobody... Nobody. Am I being too loud? Can I say the next is don't stay attached to people. Child, don't stay. That word stay especially is very true. Don't stay attached to people. And this follows my next point because you will outgrow some people. In life, sometimes our goals are not like this. They're not like this together. 
Some people have a faster pace. Others it's a bit slower. Others it's just they're all over the place. Their goals are just, you know. And if you follow everyone and you stay attached to people, you're not going to grow because you all have different paths. Now, I'm not saying just let go of people and drop everyone, but sometimes when you outgrow someone, it's okay to let them go. It happens. There's no beef. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. You just outgrew the person and it is okay. And the same thing, vice versa, when someone outgrows you and they start moving on, and they're just not around for you anymore. They just feel like you're not their type. Or maybe you're just not their vibe. Or you just... You are their grew. It's okay. It's it's okay to be like, okay, no. They're on a different path. Let me let them be. Let me let them fly. It's something I had to learn a lot in my first year and second year of varsity. I had a friend. And I just felt like we outgrew one another. And that's okay. It really is okay. we on different paths. And I let it be. And I was so attached to the person because I really did not want to lose them as a friend. But it was only when I got to second year, I was like, no, man. We had grew one another. And that's okay. It's painful, but it is okay to let them go. Do not stay attached. Trust me, it's the worst thing that you can do. Because sometimes some people may be pulling you back. And that's that on that. On that. So, yeah, those are the two points that I actually wanted to mention. So Some of my points actually come, they follow like one another. So, yeah, I'm so tired. 21 is so many. I've been alive for so many years. Okay, some things, the next one is some things or situations. You will have to go through them alone in order to learn. Um, so, it's true. Like, some situations, you guys, you can't go through them with other people. Some things, yes, like I said, I think I said in one of my first few points, like you need people, you need a support system. But there's literally some things in life that you need to go through alone in order to grow and learn and become a better person. You can't take everyone with you every single time. Some things you literally, some battles you need to go through alone. Um, battles like... Okay, maybe not alone, but you need to battle it by yourself and do it yourself and not take everyone with you. Otherwise, you're not going to deal with it properly um, in, in totality, whatever. So, I, I don't know what example to give. Like, for example, I used to have a lot of anxiety. Um, and as much as you can go to therapy sessions... And talk to people and they can be like no you can do it no you can it's it's a especially mental stuff stuff that's in your head some of them you literally need to go through them alone so that you can actually learn because you can have everyone telling you go through do it shouting on the sidelines you can do it but if you don't believe in it yourself you're not gonna push through you know to the end so there's literally some things guys that you need to deal with yourself anxiety um, I know some mental health stuff issues and illnesses need actual doctors and you know medication stuff like that and therapy and whatnot. But there's just I feel like there's just some things, some other things. I'm so hard. I'm sorry about that, guys. But my camera card got full, so it stopped along the way. But let's move on to another point. I don't know where it stopped but um yeah oh still talking about some situations you need to go through alone um don't trust everyone i think that also goes to trust your intuition and not everybody has great intentions so i, I feel like the, yeah like be open but don't trust easily because that's all i want to say really and the next thing is therapy really helps so sometimes People look at therapy as like you're weak, you don't have the emotional strength to pull yourself through certain situations and that's not really the case. Therapy sometimes is, like I said, when you're here by yourself, you can't see the things that you're doing that are wrong and that are toxic and just patterns that, are, that you can improve on. You can't see them yourself. You need someone else to see it and a professional is even better and perfect. So therapy really helps. A lot of people look at therapy as a weakness or like oh, you're weak, you're not strong. That's not that's really not the case. Like therapy actually is 
productive it helps you see things but not only see the things that you're doing wrong or things that you're going through or whatever but it also helps you digest them and actually deal with them because i mean it's one thing when you see something and like okay cool i saw it then what now so it helps you digest it and deal with it in a particular way that is not toxic and won't pull you back as a person so trust me it also helps also life coaching like i had a life coach that was really good um i stopped sessions with him though i think in second year he was pretty expensive for my mom but um therapy really helps guys where you can i know there's some universities some universities that have like free thingies on um on campus student student what do you, what do you call it student support centers go go to them those ones are free i know sometimes they take long in terms of appointments and stuff like that and also some medical aids do cover therapy if i'm not mistaken i think gems or something like that but where you can go for it you know so yeah um and the other one that i was that follows after therapy is you always you won't always be right my earring is hurting me ow and the next one is you won't always be right and that is the truth sometimes like i said we don't see ourselves we don't see what we're doing and when someone tells you dude you want right doing this and that we usually take it at heart and we take it personally but it's okay like it's growth um you just have to take it as you know what they try to make me do better you know obviously some people come off like who do you think you are but some people are literally just have great intentions and they just want to tell you that dude this is not right do this rather and that's okay so and i have big virgo energy i hate being wrong like i just hate it but one thing i've learned is like if you're wrong it's okay like be like okay no i'm wrong what can i do or how can i fix this you know what i'm saying you won't always be right and that's a fact so yeah the next one is procrastination is really not your friend and i think i mentioned it earlier procrastination is not your friend guys you know what procrastination can do for you it can actually delay goals that you had to like five years and you lose out on so much that you could have achieved if you just thought it you know what i'm saying like a lot of the times you say no i'll do it tomorrow and when you're thinking you're procrastinating but let me see when you're procrastinating and you're thinking no man i'll probably do it next week next week becomes next month next month becomes a few months from now a few months from now become a year a year become two years before you know it you lost you really lost one day or one second that you procrastinated all of a sudden became years and then you lie on a deathbed one day at 89 and you're like I regret not doing that you don't want that trust me so definitely procrastination is really not your friend think about that really hard um the next one comparison addiction is very dangerous especially at this age especially in your 20s specifically at this age because a lot of your friends are doing big things your age mates in your 20s 25 24 23 some at 26 or even at 23 have their own apartments their own cars and you're feeling like i'm failing at life you know social media has us rushing our goals and everything and a lot of the times we feel like i'm failing just because i don't have a car that's dumb just because i don't have an apartment you feel like i'm failing at life sometimes i'd be feeling like that but that comparison addiction is honestly horrible and it could kill you it could honestly kill your dreams and everything because you already feel like you're failing and it starts in here so now you feel like you're failing now you're gonna act like a failure you're not gonna wake up you're not gonna sh put effort you're not gonna show up and then before you know it you're just not doing life the way you potentially can so comparison addiction really is very dangerous watch out if, every time when i compare myself to people i i remind myself no comparison addiction don't do that social media got you guys rushing your goals don't fall into the trap and that leads on to my next one your time is coming to like literally you're also gonna make it tomorrow it's somebody else today it's, it, it's i mean today it's, it's somebody else tomorrow somebody else what am i saying 
<laughs> Today it's somebody else, tomorrow could be you and then they'll be watching you win. So we all have our time, like your time, Yadaliona, it's coming too. The next one is never underestimate self-care days. Don't underestimate self-care days. Like I neglected so much of my mental health and just physical health to the point where it got in the way of my academics. So sometimes when you feel like you're taking a break and you feel like you're oh, I'm wasting time, I'm wasting time, I could be studying, I could be working. But literally don't underestimate self-care days because they are everything. And that's how you sharpen up and recharge so that you can do better. I'm rushing because my card is going to get full, you guys. But the last one, the last one is you are a star. It is a must that you rise and shine. Glory, glory, rise and shine. <laughs> rise and shine and give all this glory, glory. Praise the living God. Mm -hmm. I am a star. It's a must that you rise and shine. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to arise. So, yeah, that is it. You are a star. Believe it. If you don't believe it, nobody else will, unfortunately. Nobody's going to wake you up and be like, believe in yourself. Nobody gets time for it because everybody else is focusing on them. So, I went through all of them. I even put stars. So, I'm in marks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it, I hope it was very, oh my ear is so painful. I hope it was, yeah, motivational. I hope you learned a few things here and there. I really enjoy the lady talks because I feel like I haven't done them in a while. And I feel like they just, they're just nice, um, you know, to feel like you're making some sort of difference. Maybe, maybe, maybe someone else is listening. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will catch you guys in my next video. Do enjoy. If your birthday is still coming up, happy birthday to you too. If you're a September baby, if you're a Virgo, I love you. So yeah, that is it from my side. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys in my next video.